I'm Les, I uh, work for Sharp. Hello, my name is Orpheus. Uh, I'm working for Sheila Glenna House and I'm a settlement worker. Okay, can you just tell us guys uh, how the bid to the Prince's Trust and how this all came about? Uh, we we was uh, considering how we're going to develop in the, the scheme uh, any further and we end up having a store, uh, a brainstorm uh, session where we trying to see what local resources are in the area and uh, prison trust was uh, one of the options and uh, we contacted them, make a referral, explain what we would like to happen and what the organization is offering to the community and uh, very thankfully they agreed to help us. Hi, I'm Sue Parkinson. I've worked for SHAP for 12 years. I'm the operations manager. Uh, you'll have known me in Hotenborough, so I oversee Nosley. Um, Sheila Delaney and Octavia Court are the hub of services in Nosley. Uh, we've got a hostel, emergency hostel for young people. We've also got 17 flats that we support young people in, up to from 16 to 25. Um, we've got, which is great, um, the community really involved in the work that we do. So we've got the Princess Trust here, as you can see, who are doing a um, brick barbecue, a shed for the bikes, um, a bodega, um, benches. Also what we've got here is we've got a fabulous greenhouse, so we're linking in, we've got volunteers, uh, and we're growing some really good um, fruits, veg, and flowers. My name's Adam, and I'm the team's negotiator for this project. My, my name's also Adam as well, and I'm the timekeeper, which involves just like keeping everyone up to date, making sure we stay on schedule and stuff. I'm the storekeeper basically stopping all of our stuff getting robbed and in check really. <laughs> well, I'm Lewis, I was the designer, I mapped out basically where and where places were going to be, where you know where the barbecue, the casino was going to be, and the bike shed. Great, okay. It's getting, getting the tenants involved with um, each other because we it's, it's a split scheme, we've got People who live here do the two year scheme. Um, there's 17 flats of them, and we've also got five um, emergency five flats in an emergency hostel, which the people there haven't got a communal area, so they're, they're quite isolated. So them getting together um, it, it will be a major thing for us. And, and the, the garden and the greenhouse, and getting people involved in that, and, and like getting people to get together and, and because it's not nice being stuck in one of the, the emergency flats when they, they don't know anybody and they're quite isolated. So I think one of the major benefits to what's happening here is, is to help with that. Yeah. So, sorry. so what are you trying to do and what are the benefits of the residents? Well, basically what we're trying to do is set this off for the residents of the Octavia uh, house uh, so that they can run it themselves and they can understand the green issues. We're here basically to tell them uh, how to run it, how to set it up and how to run it. it. It's their project, but we're just here as observers and somebody that they can come to and ask questions. And basically what we'd like to do is get this up and running and say, OK, you take over and okay. run it yourselves. If you need any help, give us a ring. It would be like to help them like achieve independence, um, help them to learn from all their mistakes so when they get the wrong place they'll be able to uh, like, well, already know what to do. And as a resident here yourself, um, <clears throat> will you make use of the facilities? Yeah. It helps us also because we're doing the project for us as well as them. So we get to Skillshare, get to learn new things off each other. But at the same time, we get to basically help the organisation mm. by doing it for them. Yeah, I, I think what we're doing is quite amazing. Like it helps a lot of people, like more than anything really. Like, what we're doing, it, it's just like it's it's better than anything, and it's just giving someone something to be happy about really. Good. 
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for coming this afternoon to Princess Trust Team 29 Community Project Handover. Um, in a minute, they're just going to tell you a little bit about what they've been doing on the project and how they came to choose this project. First of all, I'd just like to introduce the team. We've got Tony, Warren, Adam, Chelsea, Chris, Ben, Nicola, Adam, Sean, Mairead, Lewis, Jessa, and team leader, um, Jade. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say a quick thank you. Uh, standing here, I cannot believe I'm, I'm one of a, a small number of people here who know what this looked like in 1996. And I showed a few people last week a photograph of it. It, it literally, it was a bondy, and this was wasteland. None of this was here. And I was thinking as we looked at some of the Hawthorne, um, and Joan might remember, but I don't think anybody else would, that people who helped to plant this were young people who lived here who are now heading to be 34, 35, 36 years of age and that, make, that actually makes me feel very proud in lots of ways. Sad that we still need to have something like this but I think that's always going to be with us and one of the things that's really really helped us is people giving their time, is people giving their expertise. The core funding for this stretches as far as it can but it could never stretch to things like this. So the work that you guys have done, the work that our volunteers support every every day, every week, in terms of the greenhouse and everything else, helps this to be a bit of an oasis for people who often come here <coughs> with a, a little bit going on in their lives and they need some space and time to sort things out. And the fact that we've got something as gorgeous as this, really down to your efforts, thank you so much. I'm not going to thank anybody by name because it's like the Oscars, you thank one, you've got to thank them all. But, you know, thank all of you who work here, the people who've lived here and contributed over the years. But right now, and certainly looking at this, Pergola or Pergola, whichever, it's still, I don't, know, I don't know how to pronounce it, but this and the shed and everything else. Thank you very, very much indeed. It's appreciated and it will go on being appreciated by generations to come. Thanks a lot.